Yeah. Welcome Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHL YouTube video here at the desolation of Stockport. You're here with your GBHL roving reporter Damien O'Byrne and I'm here at the moment with Mr. Thomas Harrison, second in the league 2013. Yeah. I feel like we should have some applause at that stage but no one cares. No. Um, so Tom, <laughs> <laughs> How are, how are you, firstly? Uh, all right. Yeah, are you having a good time here I'm at the Desolation of Stockport? Excellent time. Yeah, how are you finding the tournament so far? Brilliant, it's great having so many people here. I mean, how many is there? 50, I think. 50? Yeah. I mean, that's just a huge amount for an independent tournament. And it's, you know, you don't really have time to go and say hello to everyone or even see all the armies, but I'm trying my best. So, how have your games been so far? We are, we've just finished game three. Yes, um, I've been quite fortunate we've been able to win all three games so far. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's like last time I wasn't clapping. I can give you woos. Yeah, I can't please. clap because I'll smash the camera. <laughs> so you won all three so far? Yeah, you want me to tell you about the three? Or? Yeah, briefly, okay. if you would. So, first game I played... Uh, Actually, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Before you do that, why don't we talk about your army? Because you'll oh, be yeah. talking about we'll talk that. About so, what have you brought along today? I've brought a mixture of Rivendell Knights and High Elves. Okay. Um, but they're still quite themey, even though they're from two different lists. So, so could you talk us through the army and the warbands? Yeah. So the leader is Glorfindel on the horse, um, yep. and he is leading all of the High Elves on foot. So there's four High Elves with Elf Blades, the one there is a Dismount, okay. uh, two with Elf Bows, and four with Spears. And, and because of the annoyances of army list building, Glorfindel has to leave the infantry, Yes. even though he's on a horse, Yes. because the knights aren't in the Rivendell list. Exactly. Cool, so you've got Glorfindel leading the infantry. Yep, and then the Rivendell knights are led by by a Rivendell Knight Captain, with yep. a lance and a shield, and there's his dismount, um, and he has got seven Rivendell Knights. Seven Rivendell Knights. And this is a new army? Yeah, I've you know, painted over the last month some quite late nights to get it done. Was it quite a stressful painting experience? Um, it was leisurely at the start, and then as the deadline zoo, uh, loomed, it got, it got a lot more stressful, but I'm really pleased that I got it done, because I really like having a new army for each tournament. I don't like bringing the same list every time. Cool. So, tell us about your games then. How have you been getting on? Um, pretty well so far. I mean, the, the Desolation of Smile scenarios that we've played, we've played Rescue twice and Blockade once, whereas the Defender, which is the one who's trying to get off the board, um, all of those suit cavalry quite well. Um, so I've managed to do pretty well in those terms. In terms of the Rescue game, I had to kill it was the Golden King. So whilst he's got four attacks and uh, his, the banner, he's only fight four, so against Glorfindel, he really struggled and died in one turn, actually, getting knocked over. So would you say you've kind of list-built because of the scenarios that are there today? Um, I actually intended for this to be my list for East Grinstead, so it wasn't it wasn't the intention to bring this to this tournament. I was going to try to do Hunter Ops, but I couldn't get the East Grinstead tournament came so quickly that I couldn't get everything done in time, unfortunately. So this kind of moved on to this tournament, and by happy coincidence, <laughs> it's a cavalry-themed uh, tournament, I think. Yeah, there seems to be a consensus that you need fast-moving I, I guess models. when James picks the, picks the, <laughs> the yeah, scenarios, it's going to be, it's gonna be cavalry based. Yeah. Which is good, which is fine because he's not playing. Yes, exactly. I think we'd all be a bit dubious if uh, GBHL <laughs> James was playing in his cavalry-based tournament. Yeah. <laughs> Um, which is why I, of course, brought five inch move dwarfs <laughs> and a hobbit. Because I'm just that clever. <laughs> but you do have Thorin on the pony. I do have Thorin on the pony, which did me more harm than good than that. Yes. <laughs> so, um, three games, three good games? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, really, really good games. Played uh, two players I've never played before. I played Elliot in the first game, he had the Golden King. And I played Tom uh, in the second game, he had All Gondor. Which Tom was that? Fluffy. I am not. I not know that bit out. <laughs> There's too many Toms. Another Tom, there's, another, there's too many, many toms. toms and too many um, Joes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I won the battle with two of the Toms. Um, I was quite fortunate we were drawn on a wood themed board, so my elves obviously took full advantage of that. And his only Faramir and Damrod had woodland creature on his side. Is it Damrod? Madra, isn't it? It's a scout uh, one. Okay, only Faramir then. Damrod died before he could get close to the wood, so I forget. So, with three games down and seven to play, no, three things down and four to play. Yeah. You're sitting on three wins. Yeah. Pretty good position. 
How do you rate your chances? Yes and no. I mean, yes, it's, it's nice to, to win three and keep going, but the more you win, the, the theoretically, the harder games you're going to play, and sometimes it's better to kind of have a late surge, but, you know, if you want to win the tournament, you've got to try to win every game. I didn't think that I'd, I'd win the tournament, so but now I may, may change my mind if I get another win to finish So happy, happy to be having a strong first day. Yeah. Definitely. And what's up next? Um, the same again, so it's the um, block eight, okay. but I'm the attacker, so I'm trying to stop whoever's coming at me from getting on top. And how do you rate your chances there? You must have some idea about what you might be coming up against, possibly. Um, I could come up against the old Lake Town, which is 52 models, but they'll be quite slow, with Bard as the leader. I, I think I could take him defence four. Lots of models, though. Yeah, lots of models to screen him. Very um, nice looking army. Yeah. Great to see a full Lake Town board. Um, it could also be because Sam, who he's playing, uh, he has Gilglad on horse, Glorfindel on horse, and one more on horse. No, he can't play him. Aragorn. Aragorn. He can't play him because he's been defender as well. So I have no idea who else I could play. Uh, you reckon you might end the day on a win? It's too hard to play. I think, I think it, it favours the attacker, doesn't it, that scenario? Yes. Cool. So, final question then. Prediction. Where will you finish? Um, based on my first few results, I'd like to finish that. I'd like to think that I'll finish top five. Top five. Yeah. But, but, like five rather than one, are you saying? Yeah, I think that's more like So we're going for five. Yeah. Okay, and who's going to win? I think Ed will win with the Felbys. Ed will win with the Felbys. All right. Suits his army. Thanks a lot for chatting to us. Um, support your hobby, hobby, like, share, and subscribe. I should probably Happy say that. Strategy battle game. Hey. <laughs>